At its launch in 2011 for the 2012 model year, the Beetle was only available in coupe form. It wasn't until a year later that at the 2012 Los Angeles Auto Show, we saw the Beetle convertible for the 2013 model year. Retaining its heritage style stacked top as the original, the Beetle convertible seemed to look better and fit better with the styling than the coupe did, especially with its top down. All A5 Beetles were built alongside the Jetta at Volkswagen of Mexico's Puebla City assembly plant, and this second generation Beetle, aside from several limited edition or special edition cars like the Dune, would not see any more than minor updates in style and trims, as it was announced in 2018 that the 2019 model year would be the last for the Beetle. The final Beetle, a denim blue coupe, rolled off the assembly line in Puebla City on July 9th, 2019. Our Beetle today is a 2.0 turbo convertible painted in deep black pearl and features the black canvas top and tightened black VTEX leatherette seating. Its pricing is shown to the left with no optional equipment fitted to this vehicle. Interestingly, it was sold as a fleet vehicle when new. So what could possibly be better than the iconic fun to drive Beetle? With the sun loving convertible, one can enjoy the comforts of modern technology with the spirit of an old soul. our Beetle is front drive with its motivation coming from a turbocharged intercooled 2.0 liter 16 valve dual overhead cam TSI inline four cylinder engine. This engine is of an iron and block and aluminum head construction featuring turbocharged stratified injection or TSI with an 11.65 to 1 compression ratio. This engine creates 174 horsepower at 5000 rpm, 184 pound feet of torque at 1500 rpm. Car and Driver Magazine tested their Turbo Beetle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds, 0 to 100 miles per hour in 19.5 seconds, with a quarter mile in 15.6 seconds at 91 miles per hour. Top speed is Governor Limited to 117 miles per hour. The Beetle is equipped with a 14.5 US gallon fuel capacity and consumes 3.4 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 420 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 26 miles per gallon city, 33 miles per gallon highway, and 29 miles per gallon combined. While a number of transmissions, including a 5-speed and 6-speed manual, were optional, our Beetle is equipped with a 6-speed automatic with Tiptronic manual shift capability. Alright, and I think it's the rear styling here that actually looks most heritage-like, uh, paying homage to the original Beetle, especially that convertible. And I'm going to show you why I think so. First things first, I do love the satin silver belt line trim. It goes all the way around the circumference of the vehicle, stopping at the mirrors. But you do have this oversized boot lid that's when this top is stowed. Very recognizable of the 60s Beetles. And of course, going right down into the fender flare. No circular tail lamps back here. It's more uh, traditionally styled. The other thing I like that I think actually pays homage to the, to the original Beetle is actually this cover right here. Interestingly enough, it's a lot like the original Beetle. It opens up almost the exact same way, but you'll see, we'll go over the trunk more in depth, but you'll see there's absolutely no engine back here, of course. And down below you do have twin exhaust tip outlets. Along the profile of the Beetle, in my opinion, it looks much better with the top down. The lines look right for a convertible, and one can't help to love the throwback of the original stacked top. 
Our Beetle sits on a 100.1 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 168.8 inches. Steering is electronically assisted, vehicle speed sensitive, variable rate rack and pinion with 3.01 turns lock to lock and a 35.4 foot turning radius. Wheels are 16 inch Whirl silver painted aluminum shod in 215-60R16 Accelera Eco Plush all season tires. Brakes are hydraulically assisted four wheel disc with 11.3 inch vented rotors up front and 10 inch solid rotors in the rear. They are assisted by four channel ABS with an electronic stability control and these brakes can halt the Beetle from 70 miles per hour to zero in 167 feet. Alrighty, looking around the front of the Beetle convertible, pretty standard Beetle, especially for this generation, the last generation of this vehicle. A little bit more squared off than the more rounded first generation new Beetle. Does have kind of a sporty appearance, but also a very fun loving uh, personality. I'm loving the arched fender flares. Mirrors have LED turn repeaters in them. And of course, hearkening back to the original Beetle with its large oversized fender flares, it does house the almost Porsche-like uh, Ovid headlamps. They are just a standard halogen headlamp. And they've also got this little driving light inside here with its own special uh, lens. And you have a little side marker light here in the fender flare and down below, Inside that satin silver area is a turn indicator. This vehicle does not have fog lamps. And looking up front, no grill except for the small opening down below. All right, and this vehicle does not actually have smart key access, but just a standard keyless remote entry via this switchblade key. Just a quick look at the key. Unlock, lock, trunk release, panic alarm. On the back, you do have your Volkswagen emblem, laser etch key. Operation is very easy, just pressing the unlock button. All right, and let's take a quick look inside. All right, and some slight revisions have been made since the uh, initial release in 2012. But overall remains very traditional to the Beetle heritage. Take a look at these door panels here. Body color spills into the door cards here and into the interior. Here we have satin silver door poles, power lock switches, our mirror control, as well as our uh, mirror heaters. And coming down the door pole, we do have our window switches. This is all four windows down and the rest of the window controls. Padded vinyl on the armrest. Everything else is kind of a hard plastic. Door pockets. You've also got satin silver uh, bezels around the speakers. And this, right, or this white bezel here is actually your ambient light, which can be turned into white, red, or blue. Standard seat controls here. You have four and aft. You also have your high adjustment here. The round part is your seat back adjust and your lumbar support. All right, let's take a look at these seats. They are leatherette wrapped. They're very comfortable, very supportive. They do have a nice amount of bolstering. Almost has a carbon fiber look on the Jeff, bolsters here. Line one, Jeff, line one. All right, and let's take a look at the driver controls, headlamp control. Instrument panel brightness control. This is your ambient light control here. You do have a small little storage box here on the driver's side knee bolster. Your hood release. And down below, you have your pedals and a bottom hinged accelerator. Alright, we're going to pan through the interior now, show more details. Nice fluidic 
power power steering here very easy to use it is a leather wrap three spoke steering wheel with a flat bottom rim it does tilt and telescope gloss piano black trim continues on the spokes where we have multifunction controls here for our audio controls and our phone controls bluetooth controls things of that nature and over here we have our trip computer controls just a quick look at the trip computer here it's kind of glary not a whole lot here, it just shows average speed. Multifunction controls here. You do have your turn indicators, high beams, cruise control. So you can turn it on, you can set it, resume or speed up. You can also cancel it. And over on the right-hand side is just your wiper controls. All right, simple, easy to read instrumentation, 8,000 RPM TAC. You have 160 mile per hour speedometer and your trip computer display and a fuel gauge. And moving over the top of the dash, not much to speak of. You do have a dash top storage here. And coming down the dashboard, two air vents flanking either side of the uh, touchscreen display it does have an SD card input you've also got auxiliary input jack easy to use simple climate controls with rotary knobs clear easy to read markings and panel distribution here front seats are three-way heated seats you've also got your rear window defogger recirculate air conditioner controls your four-way flashers a bunch of blank switches and in this little storage area here, you do have a USB port and a 12 volt power point. A slightly revised center console here with this waterfall section and in graphite metallic. Kind of spills into the console, framing your automatic transmission lever, or if you so opted, you'd also have a manual transmission. Large parking brake that's leather wrap. Two cup holders, some storage, and a little bit more storage. Here you have a height adjustable uh, armrest, has little ratchet points, it's padded, it also opens up to reveal more storage. Alright, overhead, manually dimming rear view mirror, overhead reading lights, your dome override switch and this button right here is your top controller all right and you got your sun visors here with non-illuminated vanity mirrors and the sun visors swing out but they do not slide out so you have a lot of open space another hallmark feature here is the dual glove boxes All right, and gaining access to the back seat is very easy via this lever right here. Seat back swings out or flips forward and the whole seat, seat adjustment uh, slides forward, seat assembly. All right, and so back seats, very basic, just seats two across, 50-50 split folding seat. They do have high adjustable head restraints. Not a whole lot else back here though. They do have one cup holder to fight over and a 12 volt power point.
All right, and in the previous clips, we did show a small smidgen of the trunk, but let's go ahead and take a look at it in depth. The Volkswagen uh, Roundel is actually your trunk release. As you can see, it opens up much like the original Beetle's rear engine cover lid did. So as we can see, it's actually not a very wide opening. It's low and uh, not very wide. But the trunk space actually is pretty good considering of a car of this size and of its build nature. As you can see, you do have illumination. These right here will actually lower your seat backs, which is really handy to have. It's on both sides. You've also got grocery bag hooks. The top actually doesn't take up any space in the uh, trunk, lit trunk itself, which is another nice feature. And underneath you have your compact spare tire and jack and tools. In the event you're ever locked in your trunk, there is your emergency release. It glows glow in the dark. And this is just your handle to help close the lift or the gate. Alrighty, and this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at this 2018 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and our Instagram channel at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.